Seth Brown, Harrison, Junior. Poor Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Brian Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? Well, it's your boy Money back with another one, man. This one here is on a former featherweight WBO world champion, Shakur Stevenson, the two-division world champion and the current 130-pound WBC champ, Oscar Valdez, and the current WBO 130-pound champion, Jamel Hearn. Shouts out to Jamel Hearn, who just, you know, knocked out Carl Frampton, returned the man, you know, to retain his title. But after that victory, Shakur Stevenson came out and let it be known that Jamel Hearn, you was next. It ain't no friends in this boxing game. I need that scrap off of you so I can start my legacy and get to Oscar Valdez and put him down. Shouts out to Shakur Stevenson, bro. This how you, you know, react as a real one in this boxing game. Ain't no friends. And Shakur Stevenson letting that be known. You understand me? He letting it be known. He said it since day one. If you're in my division and you got a scrap, I want that scrap, right? Friends or no friends, either you vacate or I'm coming for that scrap, bro. He's not bagging down. He's standing on his word. You feel me? Went to Twitter. He congratulated Jameer Hearn. Let him know it's all good. But I need that WBO, homie. That's my title. That's my title. You feel me? Ain't no getting away from me. Ain't no getting around me at all. Ain't no getting away. Ain't no getting around. Now, like I say, you know, shouts out to this former Marine who put on a hell of a performance you know, in Dubai against Carl Frampton. Went out there, won almost every round from, you know, he stopped him in the six. You know, I gave Carl Frampton one round. So he went out there, he dominated with a beautiful game plan. Shouts out to Bo Mack for putting together a beautiful game plan. And shouts out to, you know, Jameer Hearn for executing that game plan. You feel me? That's the biggest win of his career. And he did it in, in, in good fashion, in great fashion. You know what I mean? He knew that Shakur Stevenson was next. He understand what this is. He knew Shakur Stevenson was waiting for him or, or Carl Frampton after whoever is victorious, you know. And Jamel Hearn, I'm looking forward to you to step up to the plate, you know. Great job out there in Dubai, man. Can't take that away from you, bro. To finish the title, I think, twice now, if I'm not mistaken, two or three times. But now, you know, you step up and, and you looking like you're trying to get a fight with this man right here, Oscar Valdez. You know what I'm saying? Well, Oscar Valdez, when we all know Oscar Valdez took off from 126 because he didn't want to face your Chris Stevenson and vacated the W.O. scrap that he puts to face your Chris Stevenson. For, I mean, where he was a champion, he puts to, um, you know, defended his title against your Chris Stevenson, but he decided to vacate to come to 130 pounds. And shouts out to Oscar. He went to 130, faced the man of the division, in my opinion, and, and Miguel Burchette and knocked him out in impressive fashion. So beautiful, beautiful win for Oscar Valdez. Beautiful, beautiful win for Jamel Hearn. Right? Both of them got knockouts. But y'all knew who was in line next. Y'all knew. And Oscar, you want to know Porter Shakur? Just like Jamil right now wants to know Porter Shakur. But Oscar, you cannot keep running, bro. You say you're a face Chris Stevens, you want to fight the best guy out there? No, don't get me wrong. I understand Jamil Hearn is a champion. I'm not going to knock the fight if it happened. But y'all can't keep ducking that man. You know what I'm saying? That man doing what he got to do to get these fights. You know, Valdez, if you was the face... Um, um, Jamel Hearn next I don't know if you would get Shakur to fight I think you would probably think that you're too bigger than him At that moment because you will be unified champion If you defeat him And I don't know what Jamel Hearn would do if he become unified champion Maybe he'll drop the scrap But we all know Shakur Stevenson Was in line He was in line my brother He was in line um, Jamel Hearn I think he called COVID Pushed the fight back Carl Frapp to get a hand injury Pushed the fight back You understand me? And Shakur, he never complained. He didn't cuss y'all out. He didn't say shit. He understand the boxing game. But y'all knew the man was the mandatory to the window. Y'all knew the man been waiting patiently. Patiently. Now he have him a man. I mean, he have him a little, you know, a little tune-up fight coming up so he can stay busy. But he puts to see you, Jamel Hearn, in the fall time. He puts to see you in the fall time. You're supposed to be giving that man his shot. You understand me? You're supposed to be giving him his shot. And Bob Irm need to make that happen. You know? But you can't punk out right now. Ain't no bitching out. Uh-uh. Ain't no bitching out. You and Bo Mack better get y'all big ass on up and get in that ring with Shakur Stevenson. You understand me? Like I said on Bo Mack post, Shakur, footsteps are coming. I heard, them, I heard Shakur Stevenson footsteps. Sorry, y'all. 
right? I heard Shakir Stevenson footsteps, right? Get money with your brother. Don't try to play that man. I will be watching closely. You understand what I'm saying? I will be watching closely. Now, we have seen Oscar Valdez team come out and say, congratulations to Jameer Hearn. What you think about Oscar Valdez and you in a unification bout, right? I don't never knock a champion fighting a champion. I will never knock it. Like I said, if Jameer Hearn get the Oscar Valdez fight, it'll be one hell of a fight. I think Oscar Valdez win that fight. You understand me? I like Jameer Hearn. I like his style, but I think Oscar is the better fighter. But it will be a hell of a fight. It will be a hell of a fight. But Shakur Stevenson deserves his shot, bro. He deserved his shot. You know, he was, in, he was in line. He was the mandatory to that WBO. Bob Erm, you better not play this kid. We know you've been doing Tiafimo Lopez wrong. You've been doing Turns Boy Crawford wrong. Talking about you supposed to be getting Turns Boy Crawford and Manny Pacquiao fight. Y'all supposed to be announcing a big fight in the, in the pay-per-view fight. Where is it? Where is it? It still ain't announced yet. And we on Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. You know? Shakur, don't fall for this shit. Don't you go for it. Don't you be that sucker in line just letting Bob Ram do whatever he want to do to you. Don't you be him. You better tell Jay Prince to get on that phone and make some shit happen. You better pull a Kenny Porter. Because Kenny Porter don't play about Sean Porter. That's one thing you got to respect about Kenny. If his son is in position to get a fight, he's going to make sure his son get that fight. Whether it's the WBC, WBO, IBF, or the motherfucking WBA, Kenny going to be on their ass. And Kenny going to take you to court. Or you go up some bridge. Something going to happen. Something going to happen. But like Shakur said, bro, um, y'all act like I'm just an odd man now. Like I don't exist. Like I'm not who I am. You feel me? Now, I know Shakur is a threat to both of y'all. Neither one of y'all can beat him, but y'all need to try to beat him. Y'all need to try to beat him because Jamera Hearn or Oscar Valdez ain't fucking with Shakur Stevenson. I'm going to say it again. Jamera Hearn or Oscar Valdez is not fucking with Shakur Stevenson. And I don't care how y'all feel out there. I don't care how y'all feel out there. You feel me? That's why they don't want to fight that young kid. That's why they, you know, trying to go around that boy. Because they know Shakur going to take them scraps from him. From either or whomever get in the ring. Oscar, you called his name out, said you're a fighter. Jamel, you already knew the play. You knew the winner. You or Frampton had to say him. Even Corey Frampton was saying, you know, if I beat Jamel Hunt, I think man, um, Shakur Stevens can, can sell 50000 out in the arena, you know, across seas. And that was the truth. That was the truth. Shakur said he wanted um, he wanted Corey Frampton to win um, because it, it made more business sense. But he was going for Jamel Hearn. He even put $2,000 on Jamel Hearn. The boy put two racks on Jamel Hearn, and he came out good. Jamel Hearn wanted some money, you know? He won him a couple of dollars. So it's going to come down to how far is Shakur Stevenson willing to go to make sure he get his, his title shot. Are you willing to call out Bob Earn to tell Bob, look here, Bob, I'm not sitting around playing these games. You're not going to do me like T.O. You're not going to do me like Bud Crawford. You feel me? Salute to T.F.M.O. for trying to take his career in his own hands, but you see what happened with that. Turns Bud Crawford, he should have been stood up and said something. But by you being young, bro, and, and this fight can arguably set your career, you know, on the path that it needs to be on. Not saying that you ain't going to be a world champion in the future, but this is the fight that make you a two-division world champion at your age and possibly get you a unification bout with the man you've been wanting at 126 and Oscar Valdez, who is on fire right now from knocking out Miguel Burchett. So I, I do make him arguably the number one man at the division because he beat the number one man, in my opinion. I thought Miguel Burchett was the number one cat. You feel me? I know Tank out with the WBA regular, but, you know, Burchette has been, you know, doing his thing. You know, I don't see Shakur and Tank getting in um, in the ring no time soon. But Oscar Valdez, bro, you have to see Shakur Stevenson. Jamel Hearn, you have to see Shakur Stevenson. No if, ands, or buts about it. No if, ands, or buts about it, my brother. You understand? So I'm going to be looking, man, to see how Shakur play this out, man, to see how he go about it, to see how Jay Prince and them go about it, to see how his team, you know, attack this thing. Because I don't think Shakur go lay down easy. I don't think he just going to let these dudes go fight each other and leave him like he the odd man out, like he ain't no damn body, like he ain't pushing no weight, like he ain't the cat that's, you know what I mean, that's, that's in position to be the, the next big star in this motherfucking boxing game because he is. Because he is, bro. You know, Bo Mac know that he's good. Terrence Bud Crawford knows that he's good. Jamel Hearn knows that he's good. I think everybody over in both my caps know that he go whip Jamel Hearn ass. Even Jamel Hearn, it's just keeping it real. Even Jamel Hearn. So I think what they try to do is, you know, let me go try to get the biggest bang for my buck. You know, even if I lose to Oscar Valdez, it might be a couple extra dollars in front of me losing to Shakur Stevenson. But why not put your brother on, homie? You know what I'm saying? You know he probably can't beat either or, but I'm not saying he don't think in his head that he can beat them both because you're supposed to think that. 
But why not go out there and fight Shakur Stevenson, knowing that he's the next man up, right? Why put him in a fucked up position, knowing if you fight Oscar Valdez and you lose to Oscar Valdez, Oscar become the unified champion, and who knows what happened after that? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I know boxing is a funny business. It's it's a it's a it's a you know, get your paper. I'm not I'm not gonna knock Jamel Hearn for getting his paper like I say, but you gotta also look out for your brother, homie. You gotta also look out for your brother. You know for a fact if if Shakur Stevenson get that scrap, he go reign supreme. He go reign supreme, and you still gonna make good money with Shakur. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you'll make an extra dollars with um, Oscar Valdez. We know he got the bigger fan base at the moment, but you're still gonna make good money with Shakur. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not saying, Jamel, go fight Shakur, dog, or you this, that, and the third, because like I say, I'm never going to knock a unification bout. That's a hell of a fight, Jamel Hearn versus Oscar Valdez. But when I see Shakur Stevenson in line for a shot, right, and he deserves his shot, and you know that he's been waiting for a shot, you know, don't, don't do the brother like that, bro. Don't do him like that. You feel me? Don't make his job even harder. You know what I'm saying? You already know how hard boxing is, you know? You got your shot. You became world champion. I know he was a world champion at 126, but gave him his opportunity at 130 pounds. And who knows? You might beat him. You know? Just by the, something magically happened in the water, you might beat him. You dig? And that might make you even a bigger star from B. Shakur Stevenson. And, and then you can go unify against Oscar Valdez and make even more money. But at the end of the day, Shakur Stevenson has earned his shot. Shakur Stevenson deserves his shot. And I believe Shakur Stevenson is going to get his shot. Shakur, you better get on the phone with Jay Prince. You better get on the phone with Bob Earn and do what the fuck you got to do to get your title shot against Jameer Hearn so you can start your reign at 130 and become a unified champion and then do whatever you got to do after that. But don't bag down easy, homie. Don't just sit around, let this shit go down, and you don't put nothing out there the way you can't get no bridge or you can't get nothing. Stand up for your opportunity like I believe you will, bro. I like what you said on Twitter. I like how you letting people know that there ain't no friends in this shit. If you get that scrap, you're in my division, you have to see me. Period. Period. Shouts out to Shakur Stevenson, man. Go out to what's yours, young king. Until then, it's your boy Money. This the NFBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. TreyHop52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If you can't, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. Y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status.